Welcome to Storytime again. I'm here from the Williamson County Public Library. I'm um, Stephanie Wachowski, the Youth Services Manager here, and I thought I would share a fun story with you guys today called Nuffle Bunny by Mo Willems. It's a cautionary tale, it says. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Trixie and her daddy went down the block, through the park, hmm, they're going on an adventure, past the school, and all the way to the laundromat. I'm sure some of you might even have to go to the laundromat to wash your clothes. <clears throat> Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry in the machine. Looks like she's having more fun than actually helping. She even got to put the money in the machine too. Oh, so she's putting the coins in the machine to get it to start. And then they left. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Uh-oh, look at her face. I wonder what's wrong. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Aggle flaggle clabble? That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. Aggle flaggle clabble, said Trixie again. Baggle plagable? Wumble flumpy? Snuff? Now please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. Trixie started to bawl. <gasps> so she decided to go boneless. Oh, look at her. She's just like totally flat, like just has no bones at all. She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. But by the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened up the door, she asked, where's Nuffle Bunny? Uh-oh. The whole family ran back down the block and they ran through the park and they zoomed past the school all the way back into the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked for Nuffle Bunny. He looked and he looked and he looked and he looked some more, but Nuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. Oh no, what's Trixie gonna do? So Trixie's daddy decided to look even harder. <gasps> Uh-oh, he opened up the washer and he's pulling all the clothes out until Nuffle Bunny. Yay! And those were the first words that Trixie ever said. Yay for Nuffle Bunny. Thank you all for joining us for story time again, and we will see you again soon with more stories.